Hey. How's it going? Welcome back to my channel, or if you're new here, hi. My name is Clara. I make bookish videos on the internet.com. It is finally summer. Let me tell you, I'm quite excited about this. So I've decided that I'm going to do a summer TBR today. I never do TBRs because I am an extreme mood reader, and it's very hard for me to stick to a certain you know schedule however i am giving myself a loose idea of what i want to read this summer because i know for a fact that these are all things that have been on my list for a long time or a good time and though i can't explain why all of these somehow feel like summertime reads to me ideally i will get to them i may get to some i may get to all of them who's to say this is just a loose list of things that i am really looking forward to reading soon aka this summer aka in the next few months Without further ado, let's hop into it. One of the main things I'm hoping to get to this summer is a chonker, a chongus if you will, a big old boy. And this book has been on my TBR since it has come out. I have the hardback because I bought it pretty soon after it came out. I was so sure I was going to read it immediately. Never did. And it's been sitting on my TBR ever since, causing me intense internal pain because I am so afraid of it. And despite this being on my TBR for so long, for the longest time, had only heard great, wonderful, amazing things about it. And I feel like more recently, as like within the past year or so, I've heard mixed reviews. So now I'm scared er, but I think I will like it. That's my problem. There's a little angel going, you're gonna love it. And a little devil going, no you won't. <laughs> but that book is Priory of the Orange Tree by Samantha Shannon. I also wanna read this because the sequel or prequel really just came out and I want to love this so that I can buy it in the hardback. Wouldn't it just be nice if they matched instead of big old chunk boy and then a slightly shorter, not the same. Truly a gripping problem. However, it is something that has been on my mind. I know that there is a sapphic romance in here, which is very intriguing to me. I know this follows three, I believe, main protagonists. One is a queen who has to conceive a daughter in a certain amount of time but there's also like assassins trying to take her out there's another girl who's a mage and she's trying to protect 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 the queen using some forbidden magic and then there's another girly who's like across the far away she's a dragon rider and that's really all i know i know there like i said i know there's um a sapphic relationship in here and i know there's dragons two things that i love there's also like a glossary in the back of names or something i know that's gonna come in handy some some fantasy though some fantasy doesn't do that thank you samantha in advance for the gift you have given me i'm very excited about this. This is probably my most anticipated read this summer. Wish me luck. I'm very scared. Like I said, it is a bajillion and a half pages long. Will it take me all summer? It possibly will. I really want to love this because I could see this becoming my entire personality and I'm sorry in advance if that's what happens. Next is another popular book that I just never got to and I have a project that I'm centering around this one. So this is probably going to be my next read and that is Six of Crows by Lee Bardu. Go. I know I'm way behind on the times. I recently also picked up Crooked Kingdom because I have a feeling I'm going to want to, what's the word? Binge read it. I've never read anything by Lee Bardugo. I never read Shadow and Bone. I haven't watched the show. I know this centers around a heist. All I know is what's on the back, which is a convict with a thirst for revenge, a sharpshooter who can't walk away from a wager, a runaway with a privileged past, a spy known as the Wraith, a heart renderer using her magic to survive the slums, a thief with a gift for unlikely escapes. And th that's the crew. I have, don't think I've ever read a heist book, so I'm intrigued. Honestly, it's probably along the same lines of um, I'm excited about this as Priory. This is a little less intimidating. I want to say this is kind of a fantasy. Yeah, no, I guess it is a fantasy. Next on my list is another thing that's been on my shelf. You're seeing a pattern, aren't you? Oh, uh, it's been on my shelf for uh, quite a few minutes. And I feel like summertime is the time to read this kind of book, this kind of genre, which is like a romantic happy time red white and royal blue this is just honestly a list of popular books i haven't read but the sons of the president of the united states and like the queen of england or something like that and they fall in love but they're also enemies or something that is just such a ridiculous concept that i i know it's gonna be good it's gonna be juicy it's been a hot minute since i've read anything romantic without a background of like fantasy or something you know this is just it's been on my list for a long time i've gotten so many recommendations to read it and it's just been sitting there. Now is the time. This is another one that I haven't really been spoiled for, which is shocking considering I am chronically online and constantly looking at book 
community nonsense. Very proud of myself. Next, I have a classic, and this has been on my list for a little bit. And again, I've heard nothing but wonderful things about this. East of Eden by John Steinbeck. I recently reread Of Mice and Men. I hadn't read it since high school. My thing was, I was in the middle of a bunch of books, and I wanted to pick this up immediately. But I was like, nah. Nah, you need to calm down. This is another chonker, kind of. The font's not bad, honestly. From what I know, this follows two different families through generations, and it kind of reenacts the whole like Adam and Eve, Cain and Abel thing. <laughs> Don't know much else, but I've heard it is a lot of people's favorites. I'm so ready. This is such a beautiful addition as well. Set in California's Salinas Valley, it follows the intertwined destinies of two families, the Trusks and the Hamiltons, whose generations helplessly reenact the fall of Adam and Eve and the poisonous rivalry of Cain and Abel. Very excited. And I feel, I don't know, something about summer makes me want to pick up all my classics and just read outside and, and be a cool ass girly. Next, this is another contemporary that I've been really excited for because I adored Normal People by Sally Rooney. So I want to pick up Beautiful World, Where Are You Next? I haven't read Conversations with Friends, but I did start watching the, the series. My head is like, I already know what's gonna happen. So I wanna pick up something, I have no idea what's gonna go down. This follows four friends, their relationships, their friendships, their breakup, and it just seems like a very existential, gonna make me have feeling type of book. Their main character is Alex, who is a novelist, and she asks this guy she meets, Felix, who is a warehouse worker, if he wants to travel to Rome with her. And then her best friend Eileen is in the middle of a breakup. And then Alex starts flirting with Simon, who she's known all her life. It seems like it's gonna get messy. And also, I just have a lot of great quotes, probably knowing Sally. I'm just excited for whatever she throws at me. I really, I love her writing, and I think this is gonna be a favorite probably. I don't want to get my hopes up too high. Then that will only lead to disappointment and that's no good. So I, I have mediocre hopes for this. And then I have a, uh, what's it called? Nonfiction. Anthropocene Reviewed by John Green. I very much enjoy John Green. Not all of his books are bangers, but I do enjoy listening to his podcast with his brother Hank. This is a collection of essays that seems to just deal with random parts of humanity. On the back, it says that he talks about wordy keyboard, sunsets, Canada geese and penguins of Madagascar. Sure. Okay, John. This seems like a fun time. I have been looking for a new nonfiction. I feel like I've really been dabbling in it lately, so I'm pretty proud of myself. I saw air conditioners, teddy bears, and Monopoly also as subjects <laughs> on the little chapters I just flipped through. Looking forward to it. Last but not least, and not necessarily everything I want to read this summer, I tried to keep it really simple. I didn't go crazy because if I don't go crazy, I might actually do it. The last book I have on this list is the sequel to the book that I'm about to finish and it, I'm about to give five stars, I already know it. I will get more into it in my May wrap up, but this book has filled the void that Game of Thrones left me. The Song of Ice and Fire series, I love that series to death. I have listened to it on audiobook multiple times, I've read it multiple times, probably my favorite series. I love the world, I love the characters. This has quickly risen to the ranks. It's really filled the void that that series has left in my heart. I have been trying to fill that void for a long time, let me tell you. I really thought that that, um, Way of Kings was gonna do that, but it just, I enjoyed Way of Kings and I will be continuing on with the series at some point, but it just, it wasn't, I set my expectations too high for that one. And the funny thing is, I didn't have any expectations for this one that I'm about to tell you about. And yet, <laughs> and yet, it is so good. So the next one I wanna read is the second in the Malice series by John Gwynn. This one is Valor. Obviously, I can't tell you anything about this. This this one. One, because I haven't read it, and two, I don't wanna give you spoilers, friend. I haven't had the urge to binge a series in so long, and I do, I do with this. How exciting. I'm just like, it's reinvigorated me. It's so good. If you love fantasy, if you love Game of Thrones, even if you don't love Game of Thrones, I'm not saying this is exactly like Game of Thrones because it's not. However, is it a rich, amazing fantasy with a really well-written world and amazing characters that you get so attached to? Multiple POVs, fantasy, did I say that? It has creatures in it. It's just so 
good. And like I said, I am almost done Malice, which is the first one. This follows a bunch of different characters. There is a prince, there is um, the prince's first hand. There's this boy in the village who's being bullied. And there's his sister, there's a princess. There, it, it, So many characters, they're so well-rounded, they're so well-written, and I'm just, I'm in love. If you've been thinking about picking up anything by him, highly recommend. I also wanna read his other series, Shadow of the Gods. I'm so excited about that now. I am just so incredibly hyped. Also, can we, I don't know what happened, but they someone like stabbed it. This was how it was at the bookstore and it was the only copy. So I was like, I will, I'll take you home, little buddy. I forgot the last book that I want to read. I don't have it yet. The actual last book I want to read this summer is The Tea Dragon Tapestry by K. O'Neill. This is a series of graphic novels for, I believe, middle grade or younger. It's about tea dragons, which are little tiny, tiny dragons that grow tea leaves on their horns or their like their mane or their fur. You make tea out of them and their magical properties. And it's just so endearing. It's about the caretakers of these little, little guys. I'm not entirely sure what the third one is about because the first two didn't seem to, it's not like a series it seems. It seems more just little adventures in this world. And I really, really love the first two. So I'm so excited to see what goes down in the third one and I love her style of illustration is just so adorable I'm so excited to pick this one up finally and be able to read it so yeah those were all the books on the list of books that I wanted to read this summer let me know what's on your TBR for this summer and let me know if you've read any of these no spoilers please please I'm begging <laughs> on my knees and you know let me know if any of these are on your TBR as well I'd be interested to know that Okay, I hope you're having a wonderful day. And that like button below could use some smashing. All my social media links are linked down below. Be kind to yourself and to others and love always. And I will see you next time for another video. Bye.